Hello folks, Derek Clark from the Rangers Review here, second time lucky, I'm going to do a little stadium walk around here at the Union San, San Gilwaz's uh, ground. Of course the match uh, tonight, the Champions League qualifier, uh, not being played uh, due to, at the ground due to uh, not meeting UEFA regulations, it instead has been played at OH Leuven's uh, stadium which is around 30 kilometres away. But I thought we'll do a little uh, history lesson, a little tour around uh, uh, Rangers Champions League opponents' ground. I'm told it's a historical stadium, legendary here in Belgium. Uh, so hopefully we'll, we'll get quite close to uh, the actual ground itself and hopefully have a, a little walk around uh, it to give you an idea of uh, where uh, this Belgian side play. A Belgian side, of course, that came mightily close to winning the league title last season, picked to the post by Club Bruges. It really has been a fairy tale story uh, for them. Uh, they, of course, uh, received a bit of investment in the last few years. They were a mediocre side in Belgian football, uh, but they've risen through the ranks uh, and now they're taking on Rangers in their first European fixture since 1964. I was told yesterday the last match was against Juventus, no less, so uh, quite something. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to burrow this uh, camera around so you can see where I am. Uh, excellent stuff for working now. You can see there, I'll just zoom in here. There's the sign there saying uh, Joseph uh, uh, Marien. Uh, that is a uh, sign where the stadium is. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just uh, go a little tour. Uh, so here we go. We'll just cross the tram lines, being careful not to uh, get run over. There's a van coming, so we'll just cross over here. Excellent stuff. There we go. So yeah. Mightily unfortunate the game's not been played at their own ground. I asked uh, their coach Carol Geirats uh, yesterday about that. He says it's disappointing because it's such an iconic stadium. Uh, they create such an atmosphere there uh, from their, their supporters. It holds 9,400 people, I'm told. Uh, Leuven Stadium uh, holds 10,200, but that meets uh, UEFA regulations, hence why the game has been moved. So we're just... Uh, shimming up the street here. Hopefully I can find it. I'm told it's only 300 metres away from the tram stop where I jumped off. So it should be close by. Another humid day here in Brussels. It is 22 degrees the last time I checked but um, we're expecting to hit close to 29 today so if you're heading to the game just make sure you lather the sun cream on. I'm sure I uh, get factor 50 all over. Still uh, absolutely a melting note. That's just a little street down there. And I'm, so, I'm not seeing any signs of a stadium as yet, so we'll just uh, keep on walking. Hopefully it's up at the end of this hill, perhaps. Thanks to everyone that's tuning in. So yeah, it's just to give you a little flavour of uh, where this side play their football. Um, give you an idea of uh, the ground itself. I'm told that Union San Gil was, uh, they're simply referred to as Union. I know people were asking questions, is it USG, Union SG, what have you. Well, here we go, this is uh, encouraging, this looks like a, a stand over yonder. We could be in here. Let's just hope we can get in and see the pitch and what have you. So that looks like the main stand. As I mentioned, the listed building here in Belgium, historic ground. Right, so where will we kick off? We'll cross the road first of all. So, it's that sort of quiet residential street here, as you can see. Trying to level that up, there we go. And we get closer to the main stand. Now, I'm told construction began here at the Joseph Marion Stadium back in 1915 during the First World War, completed in 1919. It has uh, had some uh, facelifts since then. Oh, excellent stuff. Looks like we can dive in here. We'll do so until we get thrown out. You can see, look at, oh, look at that stand. The stadium aficionados watching will be impressed by that, no doubt. And we'll just burrow around. Wow, there we go. Oh, I'd have loved the game to have been played here, to be honest. It's a, an old school feel, isn't it? Pitch looks immaculate as well. Tell you what, the living pitch, yesterday I had a close look at it and it looked uh, sensational. 
the boy Ollie Macon, the Grenfell from Manchester, done a great job with that. It's actually won awards in Belgium, such as the quality of it. But I'll tell you what, this pitch uh, looks uh, sensational too. So that is the main stand there. So proper old school ground, isn't it? Amazing to think a side like this, stones throw away from winning the Belgian league and hoping to compete in the Champions League. Quite incredible. There's a groundsman in there, I think. Just wave at him. Hopefully he's okay with me uh, just having a little wander. It's good uh, to get ease of access in here, that's for sure. See that now. Hopefully they don't uh, get the security to it on to me. So there's the seats, as you can see, blue and yellow. The colours of Union. We'll barrel round. Tell you what, the atmosphere must be sensational in here when it gets going. Lovely old terracing. Just the one uh, roofed stand. The rest is uh, all open. So yeah, as I mentioned, the uh, stadium construction began in 1915, finished in 1919, so over 100 years ago, of course. I actually hosted three matches at the 1920 Olympics, I was reading. Two first round games and a quarter final. Mental to think the Olympic Games was here. It really is. A different era. And uh, yeah, so here we are at the corner of the ground. Look at that, there we go. So yeah, unfortunately, if you're just tuning in, this isn't where Rangers are going to be playing, but this is the home ground of Union San Gilwaz. You can see the signs over there, B Union, B Brussels. Frederick Franz, who you can read a piece on the website. I've done an interview with him, of course, some of you may remember. He played for Partick Thistle and Dundee United, now playing for uh, Beershot, who Lauren Shanklin was playing for um, before moving to Hearts. He actually told me that everyone was Bel in Belgium was wanting Union San Gio was to win the title because it was such a fairy tale story. Um, but unfortunately, they picked at the post by Club Bruges. They were leading the way in the official, the regular season, sorry, uh, and then splits off like in Scotland, and then Club Bruges uh, managed to take the title and get that automatic Champions League spot. So, diving up here, it looks like toilets up here. I'm going to burrow the camera around when we get up. Quite narrow steps, as you can see. Not quite as narrow as we've seen at the Europa League final, right enough. Those were crazy steep. I'll just barrel round. There's a, there's a good view of the, the ground there. Absolutely fantastic. Pitch looking immaculate. And it's good to see these old grounds still intact. See many of them now, they're modernised, newly built and what have you. Very savvy looking. Well, this is steeped in character and tradition. Magnificent. It's just uh, some toilets back there, so I think we'll dive back down these stairs, hopefully not falling and breaking my neck. Thanks to everyone tuning in. So yeah, we wee bit of wee history lesson for you there and a wee bit of uh, information on Rangers Champions League opponents tonight who listen the Rangers are favourites there's no doubt about it bigger budget bigger history bigger stature in the game as I mentioned earlier this is Union's first European match since 1964 when they played Juventus forgot to mention their first game here to open the ground was against another Italian side, AC Milan. So, there you go. And get back down. I'll just uh, shimmy down here. I'll try and uh, get access to the main stand. I'm not quite sure if we'll get in there, but worth a try. So, yes, uh, we're expecting just over a thousand Rangers fans. That's what I was told here in Belgium. I'm sure there'll be more. There always is. If you are heading to Leuven, the transport system is really good if you're making your way from Brussels. The train takes about 20 minutes, it's not long at all, and then you simply get a, one of the buses to the ground, or you can walk it if you fancy the trek, although in this energy-sapping heat, 
Uh, I'd probably take public transport or a, even there's some taxis you can get as well. Um, but loads of bars. I went to a few at the Hood Market, I think it is. Loads of places to have food and drink. Um, so be catered for, there's no doubt about it. So yeah, Rangers taking on Union, of course, the first leg uh, this evening. Well, we can dive in there. We'll just dive in here a little bit until someone says, get out. There's a little banners there. Tell you what, we'll dive up in the standy. Here we go. Superb. Let's go up this way. There we go. Yeah. So, yeah, as I mentioned, if you're tuning in just now, this is not where Rangers are going to be playing. You can see why UEFA have deemed it not fit for staging European games, which is unfortunate. Oh, look at those doors. It's like somebody's front door down there. Excellent. The seats, you can see, not quite like Ibrooks. It's the wooden, uh, no expense spared, but I love that sort of stuff. It looks like uh, the posh seats there where you get a back to them. Plastic backs. That looks like the press area up there. That's the dugouts. If I had to sort of liken it to a ground in Scotland, what would you say? Capelo or something like that, maybe? And Capelo's got... Let's see, I think they've got two roof stands, don't they? Over on the far side. But look at the terraces, it's a, a, a view of a bygone era, but you've got to love the old terraces. I think we'll just uh, shimmy along here. I'm not quite sure we can actually get in the, the actual stand, but we'll walk down here anyway. But yeah, thanks to everyone to, who's tuning in. Uh, I'll be at the game tonight, of course, so uh, as usual, there'll be a loads of content. I hope to speak to some fans. If you're heading to Leuven, then uh, if you see me, then grab me and I'll get you on the video. Uh, but there will be a video when the teams are announced. Oh, there's the beer kegs down there. Excellent stuff. Got my stewards over there. I'm not so sure if you can get down that way, so let's see here. I'm going to dive back down. I'll try and get across the dugouts. Get a closer look. Um, yeah, so there'll be a pre-match video uh, on all the social media channels as ever. When the teams are announced, you can get your points across, give your views on what you make of the team. Um, and then there'll be a post-match reaction video as well, so you can give your immediate thoughts after the game. As well as that, of course, we'll have our player ratings on the website and analysis pieces to come in the days to come as well. As ever, you're always covered at the Rangers Review. And just a reminder, we've got that offer on the website just now. £2 for two months worth of content. We're practically giving it away. Uh, just head over to rangersreview.co.uk forward slash subscribe for all the details. Here we go. So, closer look to the dugouts. Don't want to cross the, cross the streams. Use a Ghostbusters analogy there. There we go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you around to the outside and you can look at the facade, which I'm told looks uh, resplendent. So let's uh, dive back out. There's a the pitch once again. You can just imagine a cracking atmosphere in here, I can't even, even if the, a Brussels derby, the likes of Anderlecht come calling. There we go. Even Club Bruges, of course, who, as I said earlier, won the league last season. But I think there's a bit of an unknown quality with uh, Union of how Rangers are going to face them tonight because, of course, their coach has been... Uh, Taken away, his underlect has uh, snapped him up. 
Uh, so that's the assistant that's taking charge of his first game as well. So uh, right into the deep zone, deep end, sorry. Right, so this is a facade. Wow, look at this. Look at this. That design on the windows there. It does not look like a football ground. It's a bit difficult maybe from here. What I'll do is I'll cross the road so you can get a, a better idea of the facade there. Now you can see the sort of the carvings there. Some sort of sport. It's handball in it, so I'm not too sure it's, uh, it's football. As I mentioned though, the Olympic Games were here back in 1920. So, could have been it, all sorts of things. And there's two runners. So that must have been here for that length of time. Well, it looks magnificent. In terms of main stands go, I mean, Ibrooks, of course, is uh, unrivaled, but this, this is probably the nicest uh, main stand facade I think I've ever seen, apart from Ibrooks. Not sure if you guys agree. As the main entrance, it's just, you can just smell the history, can't you? We'll cross the road again, we'll get closer. It's not Louth and Ryan, no, this is, uh, this is where Union actually play. Look at those doors. Wow. I'm not too sure if there's a marble staircase in there, but I've got to say I'm loving the, the detail here. There's a sign hospitality to the left. And Yep, there we go. Lovely ironworks. It looks like there's a bar in the ground as well. How cool is that? I'm just going to shimmy across then, of course, we'll go and have a closer look at the bar. Would be rude not to. It's uh, across the road here. In terms of main stands, you would never know that's a football ground. That, that makes it, Look at that, Union Sand. I'm not too sure if you can see that up there, Union Sand, you was. Lovely. Looks like a little supporters bar there. Union's Tavern. Some uh, Belgians enjoying a little refreshment in there. But you can imagine this on match day being bustling. If supporters, let's look at some of the stickers here. Union. Actually seen a Union Beer sticker at Liverpool Airport when it was flying out on Sunday night. Get them everywhere. So this is it. Other side clubhouse it says here. I'll get a closer look of course. This is the club supporters bar. Go and have a wee look. Why not? Oop. It's just uh, across the road. Look at the detail. Superb. There we go, clubhouse. That's that, supporter stuff. Hi buddy. Fan shop. So yeah. Inside the main stand, how good is that? I've walked around down here. I think I'm going to frequent that after this video. I mean, look at the detail there. What's that? Round there? Ah, excellent stuff. Barman's going to let me in. This is the business. There we go. Top tunes in the background. Ah, oh, class. So there's a fan shop there, folks. Wow. Cheers, buddy. Just doing a little walk around for. Sorry. Uh, oh, I sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's nice stadium. Yeah. You work here, yeah? What? You work here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You work uh, Rangers. Rangers, yeah. Rangers, uh, <laughs> Rangers review website. So interested to see yeah, Union Stadium. Normal. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's very hospitable of uh, that gentleman. There you go. There's a, a wee snack bar thing there. I'm sure it... 
as a Union Sanjo Waz banner. Just tilt the camera. There you go. Absolute class, class, sorry, look at that old sign there. Whitbread, George and Dragon. Wow. Oh. There we go, another little uh, bit of artwork there. And we'll dive round the other end now this time. Yeah, so lots of excitement in for regards to the Belgian journalists that I sp spoke to yesterday. They really looking forward to this one. They tell you they're really looking forward to getting to Ibrox as well next week. I think that's going to be a culture shock for the Union San Gil Waz players. If it's anything like last season, the Ibrox uh, crowd really played their part in that run to Seville. There's uh, a comic called Why Tour of Ground. Well, it's just to give you a bit of a flavour of the team that we're playing, Ryan. It's just a, something to do before heading over to Leuven again. Um, just to give you an idea of the opposition, I guess. Win in Rome, as they say. Love that uh, stand with the terraces. We can actually get in. Quick wee wander up there, and I think that'll do us, folks. Thanks to everyone that's tuned in to this set. Uh, that live walk around. Oh, we don't like that. What's, what's going on there? Union boys. <laughs> so there we go. That's the main stand. Excellent, I'll borrow this background. Yep, so there you go folks, uh, a little flavour of uh, where Union play their football as I mentioned, just to recap, they're not playing here, they're playing in uh, Leuven, 30 kilometres away. Uh, I posted some pictures on my social media yesterday of the ground, another tidy little ground, it's not got the same character as will have their minds focused on the job. I don't think it's going to be easy. Uh, they uh, got the, the best defence in Belgium last season, so it's going to be a tough nut to crack. But as long as they keep the tie alive, and um, I'm sure they've got the, the capabilities to win tonight uh, and also next week. But as we know from last year, uh, you can't take any teams uh, lightly. Um, but yeah, that's the task in hand. Uh, I'll leave you all now. As I mentioned, there'll be lots of content coming your way on the Rangers Review later on. Um, but until now, uh, till then, sorry, au revoir.